All right, guys, does a ketogenic diet lead to increased inflammation, as you know, perhaps some people will tell you? Well, let, let's look at the newest study that has just come out. A large meta-analysis published just the other day uh, looked at this question in particular. And what they did is they looked at all of the randomized controlled trials that tracked uh, markers of inflammation. Uh, so they ended up looking at 44 randomized control trials. So this is a meta-analysis of randomized control trials. This is, you know, many people would consider this as the highest tier of evidence. Now, again, depends how good the randomized control trials are, honestly, but still, this is very, very strong evidence. And what this study shows is that, indeed, a ketogenic diet tends to drive inflammatory markers down. And so the two they specifically commented on were something called interleukin-6 or IL-6 and TNF-alpha or tumor necrosis factor alpha. Both are uh, well uh, uh, sort of documented inflammatory markers. Now there are other inflammatory markers, like for instance, C-reactive protein seem to be not affected overall by this, but this matches the clinical experience that many of us have on ketogenic and carnivore diets that we just feel less inflamed. You know, we, and, and, and some of us ourselves have tested these things and seen things like C-reactive protein drop dramatically. Certainly on carnivore diets, people, one of the more common things they will say is they notice less inflammation. You know, may it, maybe it's uh, the, their joints feel less achy and, and irritated. Their gut seems less inflamed. You know, some people have, you know, really uh, sort of irritated skin, which often improves. So this is just more evidence that matches our clinical experience. Again, you know, um, there are a lot of people that criticize a ketogenic diet because of, oh, it's not the only way to lose weight. But the reality is it's much more than that. You know, weight loss can be done a various number of ways. You know, you can obviously reduce caloric intake uh, and exercise more and you can lose weight that way. It's not that you can't do it. It's hard for many people to just do that and actually be successful with it. Clearly that's been difficult over the years. Otherwise we wouldn't have this huge obesity epidemic that we have. But irrespective of how you decide to lose weight, ketogenic diets seem to favor decreases inflammation. We're also seeing, you know, same thing with carnivore diets, we're also seeing incredibly uh, a wide diverse number of medical conditions that seem to improve uh, via this dietary strategy. So interesting to see, like I said, I'm, I'm, like I said, behind the scenes working on getting these carnivore studies done so we can, we can further add to the literature. Uh, hopefully some uh, open-minded doctors will be more willing to prescribe this. Um, I know it's a slow, it's a slow process, you know, turning this, turning this sort of paradigm around. The good news, again, I'll give another plug for Rivera, our company. All of our doctors are on board with this stuff. They get this stuff. They study it. They live it. Most of them have lived, well, in fact, all of them have lived this example, and they know what it does for them. And I think sometimes that's what it takes. You know, as a physician, you've got to try it yourself and be convinced before you're willing to recommend it to your patients. And I don't, you know, I don't blame people. And like I said, there are kind of two classes of people, those that have tried carnivore diet and those that remain ignorant and, and have their uh, sort of uh, often unfounded or, uh, you know, basically ignorant uh, criticisms because they don't know. They don't know any better. Anyway, guys, day, uh, we're on day, what, 29 of World Carnivore Month. I can't believe it. It's almost over. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Let me know what you guys think. In, in your experience, uh, has a ketogenic diet or a carnivore style diet decreased inflammation in your own personal life, either objectively via lab values or subjectively by, by how you feel? All right, look forward to your comments. We'll talk to you soon.